Hey, what's going on in Ecom Brads? Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. As you can tell, we're going to be talking about images and how to optimize them and you know compress them but not destroy the quality now i have a multitude of options for you guys there's so many different ways you can do this and i'm going to touch upon a few of these and if you guys want me to go into deep further detail on some of the points and some of the things i talk about in this video please leave it in the comment below if you're on youtube if you're in the group comment on the post so anyways thank you so much for watching and um also, if you enjoy the content, smash that like button, as everybody says on YouTube. Go and smash it. Like, seriously, break your keyboard while you're doing it. Like, I'll try and buy you a new one. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Let's get to it. So, as always, we are on the Ecom Graduates Development Store. If you want to preview it, the password is ecomgrad. Right. So, we got some nice, high-quality images here. Um, here, and I'm going to oh, go in Open Image in New Tab. Now, Shopify is awesome where they have these things called image filters. They can resize them, they can change the file, uh, file type, and do a number of different things. You can crop center. Um, I'll make another video on all those image filters, but I do have a link already open for you to kind of check that out. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the master image. You can remove this little size right here. It's just saying let's resize it down to 720 pixels. I'll just get rid of that, hit enter, and there you go. You've got the full res image, massive image, save image as, and yep, really old crap no one needs to see for this video. So we're going to hit save, and we're going to go and open up this folder. Open files for open files. List of what? Okay. And we'll see that this, is, this image by default is 1.3. 1.31 megabytes. That's way too big. You don't want to have a m bunch of images loading on your site because every request you make on your site adds load. Okay, so you got to realize mobile phones, sure, they got 4G, they got 5G, but some people may be in the middle of nowhere and trying to load your site and order your awesome product and they're downloading like 30 megabytes of files. It's, it's, it's quite ridiculous, honestly. Um, and I can actually show you an example, which I guess. I don't know who that is, but now we're going to inspect element. And I'm going to show you on here, network, right here. And you'll see everything. Do empty cache and do a hard refresh. Now, look at that. We're loading 5.7 megabytes. Now, that's not too bad. It transfers three, but it load, it, there's 5.7 megabytes of resources on this page. And as you keep loading down, you know, you're loading more and more. I'm almost 10 megabytes. If someone has terrible internet, that 10 megabytes is going to take so long. So our objective here is to compress that down as much as possible so there's less downloaded crap. Okay? So let's do this. Let's do this right now. So I have, I use a program called Casium. It's for Windows. There is another tool very similar for Mac. Image Optima. I know a lot of you guys use Macs. I'm a, I'm a Windows user. I know. Make fun of me. Go for it. I don't care. I'm a poor guy. Can't afford a Mac. Um, and you can get the, they have an app. They have a, a mobile version. You know, you don't have to download the, you can download a portable one if you don't feel like installing it. I think this one does the same thing. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not a Mac user. I'm too poor for that. So right here, what we'll do is we'll just go and use this tool. Go in here, drag it in here, All right? So then what you can do is you can lower the quality. I usually set it to about 80 um, because it just it just works really well. And then what we'll do is I'm going to get this download folder and go here and select folder. And then all you really got to do, and you can also resize images with this too. You can just click resize. I'll do another video on how to actually resize your images, keeping the aspect ratio, all that fun stuff. Now, I liked, I don't like using PNG. Um, it, it's, it is actually a lot more in load intensive than a JPEG. JPEGs load better for websites. Now, if you have something that doesn't have a background, sure, go use a PNG. But if you want to be really cool, which I'll do another video on, is how to use SVGs. SVGs are basically like mini websites inside of an image. It's kind of crazy. You can do a lot of cool stuff. Um, SVG, uh, Scalable Vector Graphic. That's what that stands for, if you didn't know. So we're going to go in and we're going to just click set the quality. We're not going to resize and we're just going to click compress. And it saves zero bytes. I, I don't understand why. So sometimes you got to fiddle, fiddle around with this. 
you know, to get the best option. Well, it, it saved it saved 5%. So let's go in and see. Wait, we shaved off some. So now what we can do is, because it's such a high, it's such a large image, we can maybe crank that down to 60 if you want. You know, play around with it. Find settings that work for you. I don't know why it's saying it saved zero bytes. That makes no sense to me. Um, it lies. So we'll go here again. And now it's 0 0.98 megabytes. Now, if you are cool like me and you have Photoshop, you can actually do this, uh, do it something way better. So what we'll do is we'll go back and grab that image, right? I'm gonna go here, we'll just copy the image and I'm gonna open up Photoshop if, it, if my computer just stops being a jerk. And I'm gonna do Control V, paste it in. Then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Export Save for Web Legacy, right? And then when this, so you know, you see how this right here, it tells you it's 1.32 megabytes. Now if I crank this up to maximum, if it stops lagging, it goes to four megabytes. Insane. So I just like to keep it to medium because it's a very, very large image. And look at that, 632 kilobytes. You can, you know, play around with this progressive JPEGs. I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Um, and I'm gonna hit save this PC, downloads, my cool image, save, bam, done. Go back here. Look at that. It goes from 1.3 megabytes down to 624 kilobytes. Same resolution, same everything, but it's much lower, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a lower quality. So I'm gonna go here and preview. Wow, my photos. And you'll see that it's still high res, right? Super high quality, you compressed it, with Photoshop. Now, I know some of you don't have Photoshop. You can go get it. I think it's it's $30 a month um, for all of the Adobe suites, but there is another website called Photopea Editor. All these links will be in the in the, you know, down below. So, don't worry. New. Um you know what? Let me just what I can do actually is uh, drag this over original. There we go. And then you can go file, export as JPEG. And you can also adjust the quality here. Um, you, can, you can do all kinds of different, you can do WebP, you can do all kinds of different file formats. Um, JPEG is what I use. Like I said, zoom, scroll out, and then you can lower the quality here. And this is completely free if you don't have Photoshop. Um, this is also gonna be the tool that I use and show you guys how to use uh, when I show you how to properly resize your image. Um, but again, there are other tools out there too. So we can go to here. Uh, we've got this one for Mac. We've got tiny PNG. Let's just drag this over here and just see what they do for us. You know, let's see. Maybe they're feeling kind of generous and they want to, you know, lower the quality of this image for us. But you, as you can tell, my internet's terrible because I live in Arizona, as I stated in the previous video. All right, waiting, waiting, we're waiting. Two years later. So we got another compressedjpeg.com. We've got imagecompressor.com. We've got all kinds of different places you can compress your images. I like ones that you can just bulk, like compress all at once with the same settings. That's why I prefer to have this tool called Casium. Um, you know, again, you just have to find the settings that work the best for you. Um, but when you have these really large images and you're compressing them, and you put them on your store, you're not gonna really see that crazy, drastic, ugly image. You know, everyone's like, oh, I don't like compressing my images because the quality goes down. Well, when you have massive images like this, you're not gonna really have this image. I mean, this is 4,096 by 2,731. It's way too big. You guys need to stop using these massive images, honestly. But is this done? All right, so it saved 15%. It went from one megabyte down to 884. It's something, it's not the greatest, but just find what works for you, you know? Um, I like to do this when I can't really get the results that I want out of this program. Um, I can't really speak for this program because again, I'm not a Mac user, I'm poor. Um, so anyways, let's go here and let's go and customize this store real quick with the new image. All right, we're gonna see this one right here. Image with text, we're gonna change that. 
I'm going to drag this from our handy dandy folder, upload. You can do it, put your pixels into it. Do it, do it, do it. Oh my gosh. All right, well, Is it better? what were you doing? Yeah, it's better. Is it? You're stealing my internet. Ugh. All right, select. Virtually no difference, like the, in quality. Like there's, there's, there really is no difference in quality. You see that, right? You, you see that? So put in the work, compress your images, increase your, de decrease your load time. Don't increase your load time. Decrease it, get more sales. I mean, you put in so much money into ads and, and you know, all the stress and effort, go in and like clean your images, all right? Do it. Now, if you want to get even even more intricate, what you can do here is I'm gonna show you something magical. Now, remember when I said progressive JPEG? Now we already saved that as progressive JPEG. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna ref did we save that? Yeah, we did. We're gonna refresh this page. Open image a new tab. Again, same image, except now it's my cool image, JPEG, right? Now, what you do here is how to manipulate image with the image URL filter, right? So it talks about everything on how to properly re how to resize your images, how to do all kinds of cool things. You know, you can do uh, you know, you can change the size of it right here. So you don't technically need to go and resize your images. Um, but I'd still suggest you do that uh, if you don't want to get technical. Now you can crop center, you can crop. They have all these different things: left, top, right, bottom. And I'm going to show you how to do all that right now. Let me close out of these because my computer sucks. Uh, go here and go. I hate this new layout that Shopify released, honestly. Um, uh, theme actions, edit code, perfect. So this is image with text section, right? Now we're going to close all these. We're going to go to sections, image to uh, all this fancy stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to a progressive JPEG. And I'll explain why progressive JPEGs are better. So right here, they have format. You just copy that to make it a progressive JPEG. And I think we can do this. All right. Let's do this, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go open image a new tab, it's a progressive JPEG, because before was this it was just a regular jpeg progressive regular and then you can they can also convert other image formats as well um i suggest you know converting them to progressive jpegs you can do png to jpeg you can do png to pjp progressive jpeg you can do jpeg to progressive jpeg really cool stuff shopify has been doing things where it's converting images to webp um just go google it you'll learn a ton on how to do that so Here's why you want to do progressive JPEGs. There we go. So the standard JPEG format loads images on one line at a time from top to bottom, much how a website loads. You don't want to do that. And each line is already pixel perfect, right? Hence, it can take a while for the picture to fully load. As for progressive JPEGs, what it does is it blows, it, not only are you lazy loading, but you're also loading in a, 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 a bit of a blurred image first. And you want this because when people come to your store, they want to see that this thing is actually loading and it's not broken, right? When people think their site's not loading properly, that's why you get high bounce rates. You get people abandoning carts, not even or not even adding to cart. You know, a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, I'm getting all this traffic, but no one's making a purchase. There's something wrong with your store, dude. Like, go check it out. Like, navigate it yourself. So that's why you do progressive JPEG. Now, this is very time consuming and tedious. It may not always work properly, but for stuff like this, this these sections and this like here, like go into your code, you can go in and convert things over to progressive JPEGs. You can properly resize and compress your images by going to the theme editor. And yeah, I mean, this, this will help you decrease load time substantially actually. And also cut down on the apps and we'll get in another video on that. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching another video. I know I rambled. I will be doing stuff to stop that. And also if any of you guys have advice on audio um i suck at audio you know i'm a developer not a videographer so anyways guys as always go join this group right here this beautiful group uh we just started it we've got 84 beautiful and handsome members in here you know and we're all gonna 
help each other out and just make awesome stories together. So anyways, guys, until next time, thank you for watching.